After being traded to the Dallas Stars from the Boston Bruins, Tyler Sagan quickly established himself as one of the NHL's elite goal scorers and best players in the league, and in today's video, we're going to be counting down 5 facts that you might not have known about Tyler Sagan. While playing for the Boston Bruins, Sagan was been criticized for partying too much. According to the Boston Herald, the Bruins arranged a guard to watch Sagan's hotel room during the playoffs in order to ensure he didn't go out partying. Sagan's parents both told the Toronto Star this story, and obviously this worked out, Sagan didn't go partying, and the Boston Bruins ended up winning the Stanley Cup, and that was when Tyler Sagan was a rookie, so he already has a Stanley Cup under his belt, so good thing he didn't end up going out partying. Most NHL players have been playing hockey and training for their moment in the NHL their whole life. Tyler Sagan is an exception to that, so how did he get his start? After playing hockey for just four years, he was a former lacrosse player, he was drafted by the Boston Bruins. How did he get so good quickly? His mother Jackie played hockey for Brampton Candidates. His father Paul was a defenseman at the University of Vermont. His uncle also played with players like Bobby Hull and Gordie Howe. Uh, that's some pretty good company and those are some pretty good genes to learn how to play hockey from. Dallas Stars legend Mike Madano spent 20 seasons with the Dallas Stars. Tyler Sagan has been with the team for a significantly amount shorter of time and already he's closing in on a franchise record held by Madano. Sagan has already five games where he's recorded a hat trick. Madano holds the franchise record with seven in his career. To give you an even better idea of how fast Sagan is climbing the record books, take a look at the number of games played for both guys. Madano finished his star's career with 1,459 games. Sagan, so far, 151 games, and that is the time of reading this. Obviously, he has played a significant amount more games than that right now, but Sagan is already closing in on some huge Dallas Stars records, and he's going to probably go down as one of their best franchise players by the time his career is over. Tyler Sagan loves him some ink. He explained his tattoos to Stars insider Mike Kaika. It's a CN Tower, the streets where I grew up, the 905, said the Ontario-born Sagan as he pointed out the new ink on his right arm. I carry a lot of things close to my heart, and I've always loved tattoos and the art behind it. Some people might take it, think it makes you look like a bad kid, but I look at it differently. It's important to me, so I keep it close to me. So that's how Tyler Sagan feels about tattoos. Tyler Sagan has a well-documented love affair with his chocolate lab Marshall. The dog is so popular, its parody Twitter account has more than 4,000 followers. Before the 14-15 NHL season, Sagan also got a black lab he named it Cash. Tyler Sagan is a huge animal lover and in a lot of interviews he describes his animals as being his best friends and they help him get through the toughest times. So Tyler Sagan definitely very close with his two puppies. So that's going to do it for this video guys, I really hope you did enjoy, if you want me to do a top 5 on your favorite player, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll add them to the list of the ones I'm going to do, I still have a pretty big list built up, but if you comment, yours will come out eventually, and make sure to subscribe and like this video and turn on notifications so you know when I upload, and yeah guys, that's been it, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.